Hi, good morning, doctors. Uh, today we are on a 39B of reading Oxford Handbook of General Practice. I am Dr. Sesha, your study buddy, and we are preparing together for MRCGP International AKT exam. Uh, we are at page number 642 today, chapter 18, Hematology and Immunology, Other Anemias. Anemia of chronic disease, anemia of inflammation. Inflammatory cytokines suppress the bone marrow erythropoiesis. Usually, normal cytic anemia can be microcytic if severe. Consider leg ulcers, cancer, low GFR uh, contributes via low erythropoietin, multiple comorbidities, old age and diabetes. Management. Aim to exclude significant disorders, example hematological malignancy. Suitable tests to re include reduce iron, transferrin, ferritin. Nor so, suitable tests are iron, which will be reduced. Serum iron is reduced, transferrin is reduced, ferritin is normal or increased because it's an acute phase reactant, LDH, serum electrophoresis, EGFR, glucose and LFTs, optimize other comorbid management of comorbidities. Aging is a pro-inflammatory process. 50% of anemia of elderly is unexplained after investigation. Myelodysplastic syndrome. Common clonal pre-leukemia disorder affecting 1 in 500, more than 65. Very variable severity from mild anemia for many years to severe pancytopenia progressing to acute leukemia within months. Isolated macrocytosis can precede anemia for many years. So, this patient will have macrocytosis for many years and which is not identified, uh, the cause is not identified, which can precede anemia for many years. Causes, previous chemotherapy, chemical exposure, age, age is more than 65. Presentation, anemia usually macrocytic, neutropenia, thrombocytopenia, monocytosis, pancytopenia, infection or bleeding. So, decrease in all cell lineages. Uh, or individual cell lineages and or bleeding. No splenomegaly or lymphadenopathy except in chronic myelomonocytic leukemia. So, in myelodysplastic syndrome, there will be no splenomegaly or lymphadenopathy. Only in chronic myelomonocytic leukemia, with a leukemia, in that there will be splenomegaly and lymphadenopathy. Management, principally supportive. Blood transfusion, erythropoietin treat the infection. Chemo or immunosuppressive therapy is used in some situations. Stem cell transplant can be curative in young, fit patients. Most patients are elderly. So, since uh, most patients are more than 65, uh, not many of them will be um, will uh, be treated by stem cell transplant. But in young per patient and fit patient, stem cell transplant can be curative. Prognosis depends on cytopenias, bone marrow cytogen 6 and bone marrow blast count. So, most of the leukemias, this is the main important prognostic factor that is the blast count and cytogenetics. If there is any gene abnormality, that is a worse prognosis. And bone marrow blast count, it is more than 20 percent, that is a worse prognosis. So, vitamin B12 and folate deficiency we have already read in page 6839. Hemoglobinopathies we will be reading now further on. Hemolysis. Normal, normal red cell survive 120 days before being removed from the circulation mainly by the spleen. In hemolytic anemia, red cells are destroyed faster than they are produced and anemia develops. Presentation. May have family history of hemolytic anemia. Symptoms, signs of anemia may be accompanied by jaundice due to Bilirubin released when cell, red cells are destroyed. There may be splenomegaly or hemoglobinuria. Full blood count should be done in which hemoglobin will be decreased. Reticulocytes will be increased. When there is less hemoglobin and increased reticulocytes, then we have to think in lines of hemolysis. Film shows polychromatia plus abnormally shaped cells that is example for example can be spirocytes or other clues to as the cause of hemolysis like fragmented cells suggesting mechanical damage can be exacerbated by intercurrent illness example aplastic crisis with parvovirus. Causes of hemolytic anemia are mentioned in table 18.3 we will see over there. Management. 
refer to hematology for advice if possible stop the drugs that may be contributing treatment depends on the cause and in many cases include steroids or immunosuppressants all require folate supplements thrombosis prophylaxis may be indicated for severe cases aplastic anemia bone marrow failure characterized by pancytopenia rare affecting 2 to 3 per million population no cause is found in 70 to 80 percent identified cause includes genetic drugs informed medicines and uh, mahara informed mahara if any drug is causing aplastic anemia toxins and infections so aplastic anemia is bone complete bone marrow failure with all decrease in all cell lineages affecting 2 to 3 per million population no in cause is found in 70 80% otherwise other cause could be genetic or drugs in drugs we will need to inform mahara toxins could be the cause and infection could be the cause presentation anemia thrombocytopenia and infection resulting from neutropenia fbc levels pancytopenia and lack of reticulocytosis sorry fbc reveals pancytopenia and lack of reticulocytes so see this is the difference between aplastic anemia and any of the anemias which are due to reduced production pancytopenia lack of reticulocytes so this there is anemia with lack of reticulocytes you have to think in lines of aplastic anemia management refer urgently to hematology treatment is supportive transfusions and antibiotics or definitive restores work working bone marrow options depend on the age and disease severity immunosuppression or stem cell transplant so if you if it's autoimmune cause of uh, pancytopenia you give immunosuppression or stem cell transplant if aplasia you will give stem cell transplant causes of hemolytic anemia table 18.3 cause congenital causes examples membrane abnormalities red cell membrane abnormalities like hereditary spherocytosis or leptocytosis hemoglobin abnormalities abnormal hemoglobin sickle cell anemia definitive synth defective synthesis of uh, hemoglobin that is thalassemia metabolic abnormalities like gcspd deficiency or pyruvate kinase deficiency acquired hemoglobin hemolytic anemia immune hemolytic anemia autoimmune warm example secondary to sle cll or nhl so uh, warm antibody hemolytic anemia secondary to uh, sle chronic lymphocytic leukemia or non hodgkins lymphoma cold uh, uh, cold autoimmune hemolytic anemia secondary to epstein barr virus infection or mycoplasma infection isoimmune transfusion reaction hemolytic disease of the newborn these are isoimmune disorders not autoimmune drug in use causes are drug reduce in use also im, immune uh, uh, causes of immune hemolytic anemia hypersplenism malaria lymphoma rheumatoid arthritis portal hypertension red cell fragmentation artificial heart valves activated complement paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria secondary renal disease liver disease miscellaneous infection malaria burns chemicals and toxins drugs
sorry for the pause, uh, 644, hemoglobinopathy, screening. Preconception screening, screening for hemoglobinopathy is considered at risk groups and when investigating or treating infertility. Okay. So, consider in uh, preconception screening in at risk groups and when you are investigating or treating infertility. Antenatal hemoglobinopathy screening offered to all the patient pregnant women in UK ideally at less than 10 weeks gestation. Okay. So, all pregnant women less than 10 weeks gestation that is at booking visit uh, less than 10 weeks they are uh, advised hemoglobinopathy screening if mother is a carrier father is offered testing plus uh, or minus the fetal testing. Neonatal blood spot screening for sickle cell disease is offered to all babies born in the UK for those arriving before one year and those arriving before one year. Screening results in people knowing their carrier status this ensure results uh, are clearly recorded in patient notes include uh, issue hemoglobinopathy cards to those with hemoglobinopathy and those who are confirmed carriers. Thalassemia, autosomal recessive inherited disorder of production of alpha, thali, alpha chains, alpha thalassemia, beta chains, beta thalassemia, globulin chains of hemoglobin. Many varieties are recognized but classified into two main types. Alpha and beta thalassemia, no gene product is produced. Alpha 0 and beta 0 thalassemia. Alpha plus and beta plus thalassemia. Alpha and beta chains are present but produce at a decreased rate. Beta thalassemia occurs in all ethnic groups or in other than northern European groups. Defective beta chain production results in increased alpha chain synthesis. Excess alpha chains precipitate in the red cell precursors causing the destruction in the bone marrow and spleen. This causes proliferation of bone marrow, uh, bony deformities, mong mongoloid faces, bossing of the skull, thinning of long bones. So, in beta thalassemia, there is excess alpha chains, there is less beta, beta chains and excess alpha chains will precipitate in the bone marrow causing mongoloid faces, bossing of the skull, mongoloid faces, bossing of the skull and thinning of long bones a pro and progressive splenomegaly in beta thalassemia. Homozygotes develop profound anemia from 3 months of age and without repeated transfusions would die nearly one year. If suspected, refer urgently to pediatrics. Most infants with beta thalassemia major are detected at neonatal blood spot screening. So, beta th complete lack of beta thalassemia, ch beta chains is beta thalassemia major, B0, is detected at neonatal blood, blood spot screening. Specialist ongoing care is essential. One of our family members referral for genetic counseling. Children who are who receive transfusions grow and develop normally but iron accumulates chelation increases the survival but iron overload may cause premature death stem cell transplant is curative for these patients alpha thalassemia occurs in population from china southeast asia greece turkey cyprus and sardinia the homozygous homozygous state that is alpha zero thalassemia is associated with fetal death at 38 weeks that is barts high drops barts high drops in this barts means uh, b for uh, beta but side drops B for beta there is excess beta chains due to deficiency of alpha chains you have to remember that way it's opposite so with fetal data at 38 weeks hemoglobin H results from inheritance of alpha from one patient one parent and alpha alpha 0 hemoglobin H alpha 0 from one parent alpha plus plus from other parent patients are moderately anemic with splenomegaly and have hemoglobin H four beta chains combined with he molecule in their red cells specialist management is needed so hemoglobin H disease is alpha 0 and alpha plus genotype from mother and father so asymptomatic patients that is this is heterozygous for alpha gene so that is a little less severe they will have hemoglobin H and uh, specialist management would be required for the treatment asymptomatic patients heterozygotes for alpha or beta thalassemia and homozygotes for alpha plus thalassemia are asymptomatic so Asymptomatic patients, heterozygotes for alpha or beta thalassemia, thalassemia trait and homozygotes for alpha thalassemia plus are often asymptomatic. They have mild anemia with hypochromic microcytic red cells. 
can be confused with iron deficiency. Suspect if MCV is disproportionately low, ferritin is normal and no response to iron. You have to suspect if mean corpuscular volume, volume is low, ferritin is normal and there is no response to iron therapy. Sickling disorders. Inherited disorders most common among people originating from malarial areas, Africans, 1 to 2 percent newborns and this, uh, certain Mediterranean, Middle Eastern and Indian populations. Varieties are heterozygous state for hemoglobin S, sickle cell trait, homozygous state for sickle cell anemia, sickle cell disease, SS, heterozygous state for hemoglobin S and hemoglobin C, D, E or other structural variants, combination of hemoglobin S with any other form of thalassemia. Mechanism, hemoglobin S undergoes liquid crystal formation as it could come uh, at it, as it becomes deoxygenated causing sickling of the affected blood cells. This, the effect of sickling is shortened the survival of the red cells leading to hemolytic anemia and causes aggregation of sickle cells which in turn leads to tissue infarction resulting in pain or tissue damage. Example stroke in 10% children with sickle cell anemia have stroke and or sequestration in the liver, spleen or lungs producing sudden profound anemia. Diagnosis Full blood count and film, chronic anemia with sickling on film, confirmed diagnosis with hemoglobin electrophoresis. Sickle cell trait. Patient with less than 40% hemoglobin S have no symptoms unless they are subjected to anoxia. Example, anesthesia. Sickle cell anemia. Low hemoglobin levels, typically 8 to 9 grams with high reticulocyte count. Although generally patients compensate well, illness results from complications arising from acute exacerbations or crises and the effects of recurrent tissue damage due to microinfarctions. Prognosis is variable. In Africa, children usually die less than one year. In UK, patients survive to adulthood and age of 50 years. The most common cause of death is infection. Patients should be managed by specialist centers aiming to prevent crisis. Hydroxycarpamide may be used in the crisis and treat complications early. There is no medication to prevent sickling. GP should Treat the patient as if hyposplenic give. Uh, so there is functional hyposplenia in this patient. So you have to give them hip vaccine, meningitis C vaccine, pneumococcal vaccine plus annual influenza vaccination plus prophylactic antibiotics. So all of this five you have to give. So hip meningitis uh, C pneumococcal vaccine. Hip meningitis pneumococcus are capsulated uh, bacteria. So you, they are more uh, people who are hypersplenic are more prone to infections with capsulated organisms. So you need to give these three vaccinations and pneumococcal vaccination every five years there will be a booster plus annual influenza vaccination they should be receiving plus prophylactic uh, this is um, penicillin uh, we have to give uh, penicillin for prophylactic penicillin um, until 16 years of age or two years after detection. Advise patients to avoid cold and maintain adequate hydration. One about dangerous of anesthetics, medicolored bracelet is helpful. So dehydration and cold will precipitate sickle cell disease crisis. So in patient needs to avoid cold and maintain adequate hydration. Treat infection early. Be alert for aplastic crisis following parvovirus. Give analgesia for painful crisis including weak opioid but strong opioids are not recommended for primary care. If severe, admit. Admit for significant crisis of any sort, example stroke, acute abdomen and have a low threshold to admit children or if fever is more than 38 degrees or chest symptoms. So if there is a child who is already diagnosed to with sickle cell disease, uh, sickle cell anemia, uh, admit early have a low threshold to admit the children or if the children has a fever more than 38 or chest symptoms you have to admit before for early management of long-term complications like renal failure and epilepsy page number 646 bleeding gland clotting disorders coagulation test sodium citrate tube false results if underfilled prothrombin time so the sample should be collected in sodium citrate tubes uh, and uh, false results uh, are received if the tube is underfilled. Prothrombin time. Prothrombin uh, prolonged by comarins like warfarin, vitamin K deficiency and liver disease. So 
Prothrombin time usually is, is it is prolonged by coumarins, warfarin, vitamin K deficiency, and liver disease. Activated partial thromboplastin time increases in heparin treatment, hemophilia, antiphospholipid syndrome, or DIC. APTT is increased in heparin uh, treatment, hemophilia, antiphospholipid syndrome, or DICs. INR ratio ratio of the time the sample takes to clot compared to a control. Okay. Purpuras. Vascular purpuras result from damage to the vessel wall due to infection, uh, meningococcal purpura, septicemia and EBV infection, immune dysfunction, enoxonylin purpura, vitamin C deficiency, aging senile purpura, local stasis, increased venous pressure, varicose veins, drug reaction, steroids induced purpura, thrombocytopenic purpura. Purpura is related to the level of platelet count. Bleeding is inevitable if platelet count decreases to less than 5 to 10 into 10 power 9 per liter. So that is uh, less than 5 to 10,000. So purpura is related to the level of platelet count. Bleeding is inevitable if platelet count is less than 5,000 to 10,000. Non-immune thrombocytopenic purpura result from conditions that damage the bone marrow. Example, drugs chemotherapy drugs, aplastic anemia, hematological malignancies. These are non-immune cause of thrombocytopenic purpura. Immune cause of thrombocytopenic purpura, usually primary immune ITP, but secondary to SLE transmissions or drug reactions like heparin. So heparin induced thrombocytopenia is a type of immune thrombocytopenic purpura due to antibodies. Idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura. In children, self-limiting, often of, after a viral illness, platelet count is generally less than 10,000, but severe bleeding is rare. Refer to pediatrics as emergency. Usually no specific treatment is required in children with ITP. In adults, present with hemorrhage and bruising, may acutely be symptomatic, sometimes recurrent, or chronic and insidious. Platelet count is reduced. Ask about your drug history, particularly thiazides, quinine, and digoxin cause reduced platelets. Uh, look for evidence of SLE or lymphopenia. Thiazides, quinine and digoxin cause immune thrombocytopenic purpura, uh, secondary causes and SLE and lymphomas examined for splenomegaly refer to hematology. So in case of adults with ITP, you have to suspect the ITP. <coughs> Excuse me. You have to refer them to a hematology. Whereas in children, also, you have to refer to pediatrics as an emergency, but no specific treatment would be required. Thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura, TTP. It's a rare congenital or immune condition, may rapidly be fatal, 90% mortality if untreated. Thrombocytopenia is accompanied by microangiopathic hemolytic anemia and small vessel thrombosis, usually causing neurological symptoms. If suspected, admit as a medical emergency for plasma exchange. So, there, this, there will be thrombocytopenia as well as thrombosis in the small arterioles, small vessels, microangiopathic hemolytic anemia and small vessel thrombosis. Impaired platelet function may occur with myeloproliferative disorders or myelodysplasia with very high paraproteins causes uh, bleeding even if the platelet count is normal. So paraproteinemias when it's there may cause as a part of the MDS or myelodysplastic syndromes may cause bleeding even if platelet count is normal. The function of the platelets is impaired. Hemophilias. Two common forms exist. Hemophilia A, factor 8 deficiency and hemophilia B, factor 9 deficiency. Christmas disease. So hemophilia A, factor 8 deficiency. Hemophilia B, factor 9 deficiency or Christmas disease. Sex-linked recessive disorders, but 1 in 3 results from new mutation. So, males more than females. Prevalence, 1 in 1 in 1000 hemophilia A and 1 in 50,000 hemophilia B. 1 in 10,000. Classification. Carriers. Carriers, females are. Female heterozygotes are carriers. More than 25% clonic factor activity is present. So they are fine. They are only carriers. Mild 2 to 25% clotting factor activity. Moderate 1 to 5% clotting factor activity. Severe 50% with hemophilia. Less than 1% clotting factor activity. Features. 
bleeding into the joints or muscles often delayed falling trauma cvit is related to levels of clotting factors untreated can cause permanent damage pressure effects occur if bleeding takes place into confined space example intracranial bleeding okay management follow up should be so hematomas are the main hematomas into joints and muscles are the main uh, presenting features management follow up should be via a specialist hemophilia center prenatal antenatal screening is available refer to genetics on demand treatment transmission of factor 8 or 9 preparation soon after bleeding has started most self administer symptomatic treatment example rest analgesia plus or minus physiotherapy for muscle and joint bleeds So in case of hemophilias, it's only on-demand treatment. Transmission of factor 8 or factor 9 preparation soon after bleeding has started. Most self-administer. Symptomatic treatment, example rest, analgesia plus physiotherapy for muscle or joint bleeds. Prophylaxis, prevent the bleeds and their consequences. Agents used are tranexamic acid, prevents the bleeding after minor surgical problems for patients with mild hemophilia and carriers with symptoms. Desmopressin, stimulates the production of factor 8, not factor 9. Prevents or, or treats the bleeding in mild to moderate hemophilia A. Regulator factor A or factor 9 for severe. Regular factor 8 or 9 for severe hemophilias. So, desmopressin can be used in factor 8 deficiency. Tranexamic acid in cases of bleeding. Prevent bleeding after minor surgical procedures. Problems with treatment. 25% of patients have antibodies to factor 8 or 9. Historically, blood products have resulted in HIV, hepatitis B or transmission. Not a risk with uh, modern recombinant pro products. All patients should have hepatitis B vaccination. Hemophilias. Now, this is von Willebrand disease. Genetic. Most common autosomal, uh, most autosomal dominant and common uh, disease thrombophilias, common of the thrombophilias, inherited thrombophilias. Decreased level of von Willebrand factor leads to menorrhagia, increased bleeding after surgery, including dental procedures. CVRT is linked with level of deficiency. Most bleeds are mild. Prevalence is 1%. 1% have low von Willebrand factor. Many are asymptomatic. Males and females equal ratio because it's autosomal dominant. Full blood count, usually normal platelets, clotting screen. Often there is increased partial prothrombin time. So, in clotting uh, screen, you will find only increased partial protobin time referred to hematology. Mild cases are managed with tranexamic acid, desmopressin or COC or myrina for menorrhagia. Severe cases are treated with von Willebrand factor. Thrombophilia. Increased tendency to clot. May be acquired or inherited. Acquired secondary to obesity, mobility, pregnancy. Okay, we'll stop here today, doctors, and uh, uh, we will uh, continue tomorrow again. Thank you. Have